Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Erndale's. My name is Dale, and this is my YouTube, YouTube channel, Erndale's. Having a hard time talking this morning. This is about the fourth time I recorded this. Anyway, welcome. It's so nice to see you again after a few weeks break. Um, I have been kind of slow at doing some recording and things like that. I've been spending a lot of time in the garden and really enjoying it and doing a lot of work too. So today I thought I would share um, what I've been up to. I have been busy in the yard and in the studio. So um, I wanna show you what I've been up to. And also uh, later on in the video, we will I will announce the winners of the giveaways that I had a couple of videos back. Um, I had there, I had four patterns that I was giving away and um, I asked that you, if you were interested in the pattern that you would put a certain word in a comment and only words in the comments were for only two of them. So I um, am only giving away two today because that's all there was to give away and um, I'll keep the other ones for later on and I'll, I'll have more uh, different patterns to add to them. So we'll try again later on. So um, yeah, let's get going. So what I have been spending a lot of time doing is finishing some of my cross stitch ornaments. I have, these are all, most of them are ones that I actually stitched last year, but I never got around to finishing them. And because I'm thinking about Christmas already, I've been starting my Christmas knitting and stitching. And so I thought I'm going to go in my little drawer, pull it out and see what I have. So I, I'm just going to show you what I had finished stitching and how I finished them completely. And then um, when you finish watching that, I'll come back and I'll show you the completed items. So watch this little next bit. I've got a bunch of ornaments here that I stitched and I want to finish them. I want to turn them into ornaments. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to finish these. This one is a perforated paper, so I just have to do the backing for it and a hanger. There's really not much um, to do for this one. Isn't it cute? I showed this last last year. Actually, I think I already put a little hanger on it, but that's not the one that's going to be on it to be to in the end. So this one's on paper, perforated paper. This is a little gnome. This one's a little skating reindeer. A little angel sitting on the moon. And this one is the greatest gift is love. This one is an angel. I have to make her some legs. This is actually, um, I've, I've done quite a few of these. You make legs and then you paint them stripey and then you, I have to make her some wings as well. So um, I probably won't be putting this one together. Well, I can put the, the body part together, but I won't sew it through, uh, finish it. And then I have this that I stitched a long time ago. I really like it. Friendship Street. I have some very special friends, but we live far apart. So I've gathered them together in a village in my heart. We all live on a shady street in cheerful harmony. As we flit from porch to porch, we're as happy as can be. I did this a long time ago. It's part of a bigger sampler, but I like this part the best. And so I'm going to put this on a bag. I think I'm going to make a bag for this and put it on a, like make a project bag on it. I just think it's so cute. And I might stitch a house to go with it. But um, I'll, I'll get it started in a little, um, I'll back it first with some, with some interfacing just to kind of secure it a bit. So that's what I'm going to be t doing today. First thing I do is I always put some interfacing on the back just over the stitching just to kind of stabilize the piece and give it some strength. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put 
the interfacing on all of them except for this one. It doesn't need it. It's, it's, it's fine. So I'm going to do that now.
you can see how nice and stable this is now. And the other good thing is if you're using Krennic or any kind of um, different kinds of thread, you really can't iron on that because it'll melt it. But if you put this over top of it, then you can put your iron on it and it does do a nice job. So these are all done. Now I have to get out my foam board and cut some, some pieces of that out. I have decided, you have to make a decision if what, what kind of ornament you want. This is gonna be a square one. This obviously will be a round one. This will be a round one, or maybe a square one, and maybe this will be a round one. I have, um, I have something that I use for a round, somebody gave me a package of these. They were uh, coasters. They're just they're paper coasters. And so I use this as a template. I don't. You don't put it on the front. You put it on your back and see how far you can go. And this is perfect. So that one I can use for this. I probably could use this for this one too. For sure I can use it on Cutting this foam board can be a bit frustrating. I use an X-Acto knife. I actually need to change my blade. This one's getting pretty dull. Um, and it's, it's not so much the foam part as it is the, the backing. There's a paper backing on this. So what I do is I just go around and I score it first with little cuts. I just follow my line and just do little cuts just to kind of score it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just I'm just breaking the trouble with me is I got too much stuff on my table here. I'm just breaking the surface as I go. Then once I've gone all the way around and, and sort of scored it, then I do a deeper cut. I actually don't like using this foam board, but I bought this, I bought several sheets of it and I'm determined to use it up. And then I think I'm just gonna go back to using um, cardboard because actually cardboard works just fine for me. This stuff I find very frustrating. Okay I've scored it now I'm going to just cut that back. I'm pressing really hard and I'm just following my score and what I'm doing is I'm cutting through that paper at the back. I'm just going to cut this off here. So this is what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here and I'm just going to cut this right off the back of the... And you might have to go around several times because that back paper is pretty tough stuff. 
and then you can just pull it off. After I do this, then I just take a piece of sandpaper and clean up the edges with it. Just any old sandpaper you have. Sometimes you have to take a pair of scissors and just cut off little pieces too. So I'm just going to take sandpaper now and just go around and clean it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to have fabric over top of it anyway. I like to clean this back part off because this is, it's the paper that causes the problem. Look at I might just rip this part off here. Just get some more there. So there we go. We have a part that we can use for an ornament. So once I have my circle, what I do is on the foam side, I take some of my homemade tacky glue, which I always have on hand, and I put a little light layer of glue all, just not a lot, just a little, just enough to cover the surface and add a little sticky. You don't want it to be really, really um, too much glue. I make this tacky glue myself. I don't need to buy project or uh, commercially bought. And then you take your piece and do it somewhere where you can you can see a window, you know, where you can look through it. And I just place it on there. And then I push. And you can see, I hope, it's centered. Centered perfectly. And I let that dry for a little while. 10-15 minutes. So I've done three. I've got this one. It's got the back on it. And we just did this one. And I've done this one. Now what I will do is I will trim around the excess, take the excess off, and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to put it on. I'm not going to sew. Uh, you, you can either stitch, stitch it on or like pull it around and stitch it, or you can hot glue it, and I just prefer to hot glue. So I'm going to leave these dry, and I will be back for the next part. So for the angel, I have found a piece of, um, it was a denim shirt. It's not, it's not denim, it's, it's cotton that looks like denim. Denim. So I'm going to use that for the back of her, her um, dress. It's very close in color. I think it's actually pretty, pretty perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew it like this. I'm going to put the two right sides together and I'm going to follow this with my machine all the way around here like this and up to about here and to here and then I'll leave this part open. I've also cut out two pieces for legs so I will sew these two pieces together so her legs are going to be about that wide. After I've got them sewn I will paint them and um, I'll probably have to shorten them because they're a little bit long. I don't think her legs need to be that long. So I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and do that now and I will come back and show you when I'm finished this how, how it's looking. So I'm about to put my 
finished putting my little angel together. I have sewn her together. There's the back. And I've left the bottom open. I've done her legs. I have to cut these. So I've colored them and I've put her shoes on them. All it is is a knot in the, in the fabric and then you just paint it so it looks like shoes. And I made her um, a wing. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to use this one. Let's see. I like this. But I'm thinking that perhaps it's too much blue. This one I ripped off of a little angel I got at the dollar store. This one adds a little bit of shine and it kind of picks up some of the silver in the star here. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with this one here. So I'll have to put that on. So I'm going to be sewing in the legs. These have to be cut quite a bit shorter. And then I made a little wig and I've decided that she's going to be a senior angel. So she's a little on the white side. And I'm going to give her like a top knot kind of a hairdo, you know, sort of like that. But first I have to put her legs on. So I'm going to do that now and um, I, I'm just going to cut them off and stitch them up and put them in here. So that's not a tutorial. It's just how I finish my ornaments. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things. There's a million really good tutorials on YouTube on how to finish your ornaments. Um, but, you know, I think we all develop our own method of finishing things. So I'm going to show you the some of the things. I actually finished five ornaments. So this is the first one that I finished. And I just backed it with a piece of self-sticking felt, which I got off of Amazon. I got a package of, oh, I don't know, 30 pieces, all different colors. And so that's the first one. I really like this piece. I'm going to make a couple more. I have a lot of men in my family. And this is small enough that you could put it in a Christmas card uh, envelope and you wouldn't have to, you know, pay for a parcel type of thing. Or you could stick it in a parcel. It'd be nice as a little... Um, you know, decoration on the top of a parcel. So that's the first one that I finished. And I will put in the description below where I got the patterns for all of these. The, all of them, most of them are from just cross stitch magazines. And here's the little gnome all finished. He turned out pretty cute. I have a lot of this kind of braid and trims from when I did eggs. And if you um, are wondering what I'm talking about, look back in some of my older videos. I have um, some videos on eggery, things that I made out of eggs. And we used a lot of these kind of trims. My mom and I and my aunt used to do those. So there's the little gnome, he's cute. And then here's the little <laughs> skating reindeer, the adorable. This one I don't think was from Just Cross Stitch. I think this was from something else. And it's just got a little bit of print on the back. And some glue. Here is the little angel. She's cute. And she just has a piece of um, very light velvet on the back. And these ornaments are great for the backing to use up little scraps of fabric. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas fabric. It can just be a court. This isn't a Christmas fabric. Um, it can just be something that's similar in color. It doesn't have to be Christmas. So there's the little angel. And then... Um, I had shown you my little um, senior angel that I was doing, and I forgot to put the, the 
hanger on her, but here she is. Here's her little feet. And I gave her some senior hair and I settled on the silver wings, so that's her. Now, when I was doing this, I, I have, I'm, there's somebody that I'm gonna give this to for Christmas, and it's a little pillow. And I thought, you know, why is there never any male angels? And I did a whole vlog, not a vlog, blog post. I'm, I'm writing on my blog again, and I will put the, the address to my blog on here. And I did a whole blog, blog post on angels. Why, why are all the angels that we make, all the patterns, all the images, why are they all female? There's never a male um, angel. There's male cherubs, but not angels. So I decided, because I want to give this to a friend, and I thought I should make one for her husband. So I am designing, based on this one, I'm designing a male angel to go with her. And it's going to be a senior angel as well. So um, when I get that finished, I will show you the two of them. But I thought I, I've made this many, many times. And this is from Just Cross Stitch, too. Um, I've made this angel many, many different times, many different colors, many different ways. And I thought I would show you the very first one that I ever made. This is the very first one that I ever made. And I, as I explained before, usually I keep the first thing that I make. If I make several, I always keep the first one. So this is mine. And she usually hangs actually right up on that fan above me on the ceiling fan on the pull chain. She And she twirls around when the fan's going. So she's she's up all year round. These are not, you could keep these up all year. I, I do. Angels aren't just for Christmas. So this is the first one that I made. So I am in the process of of designing um, the one to match this and um, it's gonna be really cute. I think it's gonna be adorable. So that's how I completed all those ornaments that I just was showing you. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a, another little thing I've been doing. Like I said, I've started my Christmas making. I've been doing stitching and I have been doing some knitting. I've been making socks and um, yeah, I'm quite pleased of where I am so far. So I think it's time now that we do the draw for the giveaway. So like I said, there wasn't too many entries and um, the only two patterns that people entered for were these two. And so um, this windswept Saint Nick um, if you wanted a chance for it, you were to put the word windy in a comment. And Becky McA, you have won this one. So if you want to, please get a hold of me, Becky. Um, my email address is in the description below. Just send me an email with your address and your postal code and all that. And I will get that in the mail for you. And the other one was this one here this forest babies. And if you wanted a chance at this, you were supposed to put the word Fox in your comment. And Christine McLean 6943, you are the winner of this one. So Christine, if you could just um, send me a, an email with your, your, con your address, I will get this one in the mail to you. So thank you, both of you for for your interest in the patterns. And um, I hope you enjoy the patterns and send me um, a picture of your progress on them. So I guess um, that's about all I have to say today. I, I have some more ideas of things that I wanna share with you, but I think for the rest of the summer, I'm probably going to be a little sporadic in my uh, videoing there's just here where I am summer is very short and winter is extremely long and so I would love to just be able to enjoy this summer and 
videoing takes a lot of time, a lot of prep. And um, I just find that right now, I want to be in the garden. That's where I want to be. Or I want to be sitting in the garden, maybe not working, but sitting knitting or stitching or something like that. So I will probably have another video out in a couple of weeks, two, three weeks from now. But um, all is well. I'm just really enjoying this summer. And it's it's been lovely to be healthy enough to be able to be outside enjoying the work that I'm doing out there and I'm doing a lot of work. So I will say thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And um, I will see you again really, really soon. Bye for now. Stay healthy, everybody.